Oh, GPs are burning out like crazy these days. The latest uh, Canadian Medical Association poll suggested that close to 50% of GPs are close to burnout, reported close to burnout. That's half. That's huge. In a Vancouver walk-in medical clinic, Dr. Russ Kenny is just finishing his shift. Two years ago, he left his life as a general practitioner because he, like many GPs, had burned out. He now works part-time. Migraine stuff, I do a lot of migraine, a lot of depression. I see a lot of depression, actually, depression and anxiety. That's a, a lot of what I see in the clinic, too. As a GP for 12 years in Victoria, Dr. Kennedy witnessed firsthand the slow bleeding of the public health care system. You know, when I first uh, pra started practicing, I could get a, a sort of a stomach specialist to see a patient in probably four, six weeks. When I left practice in 2004, it was taking eight to nine months. And it's frustrating. I needed to work with uh, resources, and the resources just aren't there anymore. So after a while of uh, banging your head against the wall, you kind of go, you know what, I don't really want to do this anymore. There we go. I don't think that's going to bleed. Frustrated and feeling helpless, Dr. Kennedy sold his practice in Victoria and moved to Vancouver to start moonlighting in a profession very different from his life as a doctor. Do you want a Snoopy Band-Aid? <laughs> but for Dr. Kennedy, maybe not that different. You guys do regular stuff as a doctor. You can't go to the strip clubs. I mean, I'm much more likely to hand the poor girl a prescription than a $5 bill. <laughs> yeah, I think you should take this. <laughs> she cleared that up for you. Yeah. Stay off the pole, I think that's where you probably want <laughs> Dr. Kennedy, or Dr. Russ as he's known on stage, admits working two jobs is pretty tiring. But the balance, he says, keeps him happy. Too much to ask. You gotta enjoy what you do. You have to live in the moment. You know, you can make I made a reasonable amount of money as a full-time GP in, in Victoria, but there was always something missing. Like I just, you know, I wasn't really that content. There was a creative side of me that wasn't really being, you know, fostered or brought along at all. As you might have noticed when they introduced me, they introduced me as Dr. Russ Kennedy, and I am a medical doctor during the day and a stand-up comic at night, and it's a fucked-up combination. I will give you that, for sure. Dr. Russ realizes, from the crowd's perspective, a physician doing stand-up can be a confusing image. If the audience doesn't know or have a preconceived notion that I really am a doctor, for the first two or three minutes, they're sitting there in disbelief, like, is this guy really a doctor, or is this just some sort of shtick? You know, laughter is the best medicine. You've heard that before, right? Laughter is the best medicine? Unless you have chlamydia. Really? You can laugh and laugh and laugh, and it's still going to burn like hell when you pee. There, there is a responsibility there to maintain a certain image. And I think right now I'm struggling with the artistic side of me that wants to say certain things. Not off color or anything like that, but it's just things that a doctor wouldn't normally say. And it says right on the box, too, if you have an erection, for more than four hours, consult a doctor. As a doctor, I don't know what you expect me to do with it. <laughs> very nice, very good. <laughs> Nurse, check this out. <laughs> Not touching it. I spent sort of 25 years either uh, training to become a doctor or being a doctor, and it's a lot of my persona. And one of the things in stand-up is we always say, write what you know. You know, write what you know about. And uh, I know a lot about this. And they expect me to know everything as a doctor, too. I still practice part-time when my drug habit gets a hold of me. And that's funny. Yeah. For some, medicine and comedy seem like opposites. But for Dr. Russ Kennedy, they are indivisible parts of his personality. I can see the conflict intellectually, but emotionally, I like being both guys. I like being the doctor, and I like being the comic. Don't mercy clap me. I don't need this. I can always go back to my other job. Thanks a lot, Yahoo. Yeah. Enjoy the rest of the night. Thank you.